A few weeks ago, I noticed that I couldn't access any web pages on my desktop. Every time I tried to load a web page, a DNS resolution error would appear. I figured that my Raspberry Pi running PyHole might be down, but the issue was far worse. When I went to check the Pi, I realized the micro SD card was completely corrupted, such that my Linux install wouldn't even boot anymore. As I'm now on break, I decided to document my fresh install of Raspbian onto my Pi and a few other installations. I primarily wanted to install the following programs on my Pi, and possibly some few other things later down the road. Okay, so first of all, um, we're going to take the, uh, the SD card reader and then we have our micro SD here. And so this should allow us to put the micro SD card into the laptop because we actually do have a um, an SD card slot on the side right there. So let's do that real quick. See the SD card reader right there so if you just plug it in there we go and it wants me to format the disk because this drive is actually corrupted so that's why I'm installing the uh, new OS on it and I use the uh, Raspberry Pi image room true storage there's our card. This should be the correct OS. Yes. Okay. And we'll write. There we go. So we insert a disk into removal disk. We'll cancel that. Okay. And there we go writing so I'll just let this write yeah okay looks like it's done actually so um yeah should be it um I'll remove the SD card and then plug it into the actual Pi and see if it works. Actually, now that I'm, so actually now that um, I've enabled SSH on the Raspberry Pi, I can go to my main machine here and um, SSH into my user account. And I've actually already um, set a static IP, so we don't need to worry about that. And there we go. That is, we're in. We're into our. Um, into our Raspberry Pi. So now I'm going to install Pi Hall and I'll do a time lapse. So yeah, see you in a bit.
So now that the uh, pie hole is installed, we can see the web interface works fine here. Um, we have the uh, default block list, but I'm actually going to configure this device to use the um, pie hole DNS. So I'll be back in a second. Now that I've configured my client, you can see it's already starting to block ads immediately. Um, we have mostly IPv4 requests, and I'll show you in a second. Um, if I actually go to a web page that has a lot of ads, such as maybe WikiHow, it'll actually block all of those. So let's see that right now. So I'm on WikiHow in incognito mode, so I have no ad blocker actually, you can see. So if we click on one of the articles, usually there's a lot of ads. You can see the advertisement um, word shows here, but there's no actual advertisements because they're all actually blocked. So that's how we know uh, Pi-hole actually is working. If we click on another one, you can see no ads at all. So yeah, that's the Pi-hole installation. So I think we'll move on to potentially a Jellyfin installation now. Okay, so uh, now that Jellyfin is done installing, let's go ahead and configure the web interface. So, okay, that is kind of weird. Um, let's put username right click, set a password, and we can update the password, and then we'll add a media library. So for this, I'm gonna add music. I don't actually have any um, video so far, but maybe in the future I'll add some. So this will be music, I'll name it music. And for folders, it is located in my home directory. And in music, download songs. Yes, should be there. Preferred language, we're going to obviously put English. Country, United States. Real time monitoring. Yes, I think we will put that. We will activate all of these. Um, refreshing metadata, that's not really useful for me. These are good as they are. Yep, okay, that's good. Okay, ultimate music. Let's go next. Prefer metadata. Allow remote connections, yes. So this is port forwarding, I believe. Yes. Uh, we will do that later. Okay, everything is done. So we can go sign in. There we go, ultimate music. And songs. There we go. Cool. All right. Perfect. And cool. We have our songs down here. And that is just about it for the Jellyfin install. So uh, let's move on to Minecraft. Okay, so now that the um, Minecraft server is done, spun up, it is running, 
I've just logged in and tested it, and it does work actually. So we can go in and um, test the actual server very quickly. So there we go. We're in. Everything works. Awesome. Not much lag, but that's because I'm the only person on it. If I break something, it shouldn't take too long. There we go. Cool. That is our server. If I send a chat message, it should show up in our logs. And it does. So, awesome. That's basically all the installations done. For some next steps, I might consider adding Docker to easily spin up machines to play with. Otherwise, Minecraft modding might also be a fun project to mess around with. Besides these two, self-hosting my own projects could also be done on this Raspberry Pi easily. Overall, this is a fun project to play with, and I highly recommend it to anybody who has a Raspberry Pi. I'll see you guys in the next one.